This is Lillian Wald. She worked at a New York juvenile asylum as a nurse. During her time there as a nurse, she was led to an apartment tenement by a boy who said his mother was sick and dying. When she got to the tenement and opened the door, he, she saw his mother laying on the ground in dirt and feces. When she looked around the room, everything she saw was covered in dirt and dust and the ground even that the mother was laying on was dirt. When she looked at the boy again, she noticed that he was covered head to toe in soot because he was working in coal mines. And he only looked to be about five years old. There she had the realization that the community that she had grown to love had also been the community that was supporting social injustice. She then moved to a tenement of her own and made it her first priority to bring better health care to the people. The reason she moved to a tenement was because she wanted to show the people that she was one of them. In her neighborhood, she also created clubs for boys and girls, clubs like Boys Club, English Club, Drama Club, and Home Making Clubs. This picture is showing Lillian Wald standing around a group of girls talking about a cooking club that she's about to start in her neighborhood. Lillian was a Jew and was raised by a rabbi, so, so she herself was an immigrant to this country. She helped a lot of Jews in the country find tenement homes and donated money to certain Jewish fundraisers to try and help get the Jewish community equality in the United States. Um, she was a large influence to help so many Jewish immigrants and other immigrants so much so that the Un New York's German Jewish Elite Club let her join, which gave her a bigger voice to help the people. Normally when you think of Elite, you think of the best of the best. She didn't think herself as the best. She thought herself as just one of the people, but being in this Elite Club gave her the opportunity to speak out for the others who couldn't. In this picture, this is one of the schools that Lillian helped create for boys and girls around that time to keep them out of factories. Regarding to the $5,000, Lillian would use this money to send children of all ages to school and keep them out of the factory. She would also use the money to help neighboring tenements grow and change to become a healthy growing neighborhood that people would actually want to live in.